around Joe Mayo's parties. You know, the second you walk in, he's got you working for him. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you keep an eye on the ice, make sure we have enough? <laughs> I had a great time at the last one. I was in charge of the music. Mm, nice wallet. Wallet. <laughs> what? Nobody carries wallets anymore. I mean, they went out with powdered wigs. Yeah, see, here's what you need. Just a couple of cards and your bankroll. See? Keep the big bills on the outside. It's a five. <laughs> you know, it is better without this big wallet. It's more comfortable. It doesn't matter if it's more comfortable. It's wrong. Why? Because important things go in a case. You got a skull for your brain, a plastic sleeve for your comb, and a wallet for your money. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's, it's huge. You got more cow here than here. <laughs> George, I am loving this no wallet thing. A man carries a wallet. You know, the very fact that you oppose this makes me think I'm onto something. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Joe Mayo, nice place. Thanks. George, can you do me a favor and stay by the phone in case anybody calls and needs directions? Love to. Thanks. Jerry? Music? Actually, can you keep an eye on the aquarium and make sure nobody taps on the glass? Well, I could do that and the music. Oh, no, don't worry about the music. Just have fun. I was ready to get jiggy with it. Hi, I'm Jerry. How do you like my pants? Nice. It's working. Don't tap on the glass. Ready to go? All set. I can't believe we're going dancing. You don't go that often? No, because it's so stupid. Shall we? Do me a favor, can you hold this stuff for me? Compact lipstick, all this? And can you also carry my keys? What are you, a medieval dungeon master? And a tin of Altoids. Ow, sharp key. So you had to carry some of Carrie's stuff. Big deal. You don't understand. I went on a successful pocket diet, and I want to keep that weight off. You know what? We sell this thing at Peterman that would be perfect for you. Not more of that crap from the Titanic. No, no. It's a small men's carry-all. I'm not carrying a purse. It's not a purse. It's European. Oh. Nice carry-all. It's European. Do you still have my lipstick? Uh, yeah, I think I do. I can never find anything in here. Oh, here it is. So that Joe Mayo throws the worst parties, doesn't he? What was your job? My job was to keep you away from the music. What? He doesn't like my taste in music? Guess not. You should have been there last year. I got jiggy with it. <laughs> my back is a little tweaked. Because of your giant wallet. Just get rid of it. Never. It is a part of me. I will just return the chair, and it will be easy because the receipt is in my good friend. Your good friend is morbidly obese. <laughs> well, at least I'm not carrying a purse. It's not a purse. It's European! <laughs> hey, Silvio. Just out for a little stroll in my favorite fur coat. That is your coat? It sure is. Kramer says you'll need it because you're an entertainer and you're desperate for attention. That's true. Hey, Jerry, you forgot your purse. Oh. Thanks. Hey, Sylvia, look at Jerry here, prancing around in his coat with his purse. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's a dandy. He's a real fancy boy. <laughs> Maybe this isn't my coat. Yeah, all right, all right, you're not fancy. <laughs> no, he's very fancy. Want me, love me, shower me with kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry! Where'd you get it? That's his coat. No, it's not. It's mine. I'm a fancy boy. Is that your coat? If that is not his coat, whose coat is it? It's Joe Mayo's coat. Who's Joe Mayo? Oh, he must be the man that's sleeping with your wife. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey! 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 Officer! Here he goes! No, Someone that. took my European carry-all! The what? It's a black leather thing with a strap. You mean a purse? Yes, a purse. I carry a purse. <laughs>